consistent. He just has big, very large open areas. They're never, at least so far, really contained. Wish I could run. Oh, he's got stair sounds. That's cool. Oh, it's slowing me down. Once you've uh -oh. been slowed to an absolute crawl, the door at the top of the stairs opens. So why, if code is not showing these games to anyone, the dogs why keep switching the same the toy at all? Well, to show you, I'm modifying the game here so that when you press enter, it'll bring you back up to full speed so you can enter the door for yourself. You must fall asleep. Should we finish it? Should we just go up the stairs slow? No problem, man. Hey, you, you go take care of yourself. I appreciate you dropping in. Have good some good sleeps. This is going to take forever, but I kind of want to know. I don't want to know. This is going to take like five minutes. All right, let's count this. As soon as that gets out of the screen. One, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand, four, one thousand, five, one thousand, six, one thousand, seven, one thousand, eight, one thousand, nine, one thousand, ten, one thousand, eleven, one thousand. Uh, about twelve. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So about two minutes. We can do that. We'll do that. We'll wait. Get a drink of water. Hopefully you guys didn't hear that new water bottle making weird squeaky noises. I want to know if he has some sort of trigger for his own voice voice line to say like, hey, you didn't use the, the speed hack. Cool, good for you. He probably doesn't. But I got to know. It's not slowing down more, right? I don't think so. We're going to get there. Don't you worry. How are you doing, doggo? so slowly we're gonna make it it's right there the finish line is right there and it's beautiful glorious majestically golden doorway watch it's gonna break or something and just troll me out I wonder if there's achievements in this game. Because this should be an achievement. Holy crap kick. It's... Oh, I was kind of hoping it would speed up once we got up here. Oh, don't make me walk through all that, please. Oh, I'm so slow. Hurry up, voice band. Come back. No. Okay, it's just a room. That I can deal with. Maybe it's waiting for me to actually push enter. Which would kind of be a bummer. Oh no, please be just a room. No. I can't. I can't do it. We walk around talking to people down doing their hopes and dreams. Even one unlocks the doors to complete a separate game. Play as a pair of floating... Eyes emitting footstep noises. You are the queen, a dusting your jewelry. Warm and nice and Here's a lavish man who's going to give you incorrect instructions on how to play. 
Normal game where you have to scream into the mic every 15 seconds to keep playing. That That's funny. Mind if people thought of him as cold Giant blocks of text explaining he what's said happening. That he knew that he was actually a vibrant and compassionate person, but that it takes time to really see that. It can be a very slow climb to get there. Selling Oregon strategically to make the most money before you die. Whoa. Play his loud, bodiless sound. Whoa. Were those ideas? Some of those sounded crazy, actually. Ready, set, fish. Is it a fishing game? Doesn't look like a fishing game. I like the colors. Well, this is new for Coda. It's an actual puzzle. Go ahead and see if you can solve it. Oh, something moved. Hey. Don't forget that solution because we're going to see this puzzle again soon. We're okay. going to see it a lot. That's interesting. Oh, what was that? Is that a cat face? Or a dog face? I thought it was like a big plug-in thing. Or an outlet. But now it looks like a cat face thing. So that seems to be it, right? You walk down a corridor, you solve a puzzle, you get to the end. Simple enough. Alright, now I'm going to modify the game again so that when you press enter, it'll remove all of the walls from this room. Okay. Oh! How about that? There was Holy more to crap. it than we had any way of knowing. I actually find it funny that this game comes after the stairs game since they essentially convey the opposite idea. So Holy uh, crap. in the stairs game, a dull exterior concealed a rich interior. And then in this level, a dull interior hides this fantastic outer world. Either way, I think that the point is the same. Is that most of the time you don't get to know what you're missing. Or even that you're missing anything. That's not your role as a player. So if your role here is not to understand, then what is it? Whoa. Oh, we're back to this level. You are now uh -huh. exiting. So, this, combined with the entering game from earlier, tells us that Coda believes his games are connected somehow. It could even be that the stairs game and the puzzle game are literally connected in between this and the entering game. There's a bigger picture that all of his games are meant to play a role in. Some larger meaning that we won't be able to grasp until we've seen all of them. And once we have, we can step back and start to understand what exactly that bigger picture is. Okay. Interesting. The Great and Lovely Descent. Oh, cool. A little house. Reminds me of, uh, Rescuers Down Under. For a second. You know I mean? Every video game runs on what's called an engine, which determines what the game can and cannot do. So in other words, the engine is a set of tools for game development. Streetwise Fool. To make all of these games, Coda is using an engine called Source. Like all engines, Source has certain things that it does well, and it has certain things that it does poorly. One of the things that it does very well is boxy linear corridors. Yep. That's why so many of Coda's games are set in these Whoa. large, flat, empty rooms, is just because he's working with what the engine does well. The tools Anything available else? to the creator shape what kinds of creative work they're going to end up making. You might consider paying attention to the architecture in Coda's games to notice how they seem to stem from an engine that's very good at producing linear boxy corridors. All right. Go down. Whoa. Oh, I can fall. Okay.
Whoa. Is this him just learning it? Oh, I'm on a low one now. Oh, here we go. There's the jump button. Whoa. Oh. What? Okay. I like this. This this part looks cool. Is that the gate just open? I feel like I'm in a feeding corral. Okay. Oh. Okay. Oh, I'm locked in now. Oh. Oh, elevator. Okay. Oh, I'm stuck. It won't let me off it now. Okay. This prison, funny enough, in Coda's original design, the door stayed shut for a full hour before letting you go. Wow. If you don't mind, I think we're going to skip that. That's incredible. This is something that he and I used to argue about a lot. That's you a know, crazy idea to a game ought to force games to do. Playable, whether it means anything if no one can get through it. That's true. And I would always defend I was that, just you know, that all this work goes into the game, why not make it playable and accessible? And so we just got into heated arguments over it, and there was one time that after one of these conversations, he went home, and a day or two later, he sent me a zip file entitled Playable Games that was full of hundreds of individual games, each of which was just an empty box that you walked around in and nothing else. Believe me, I played every single one of those just to find out if there was like a gag hidden somewhere. Nice move. There wasn't. But yep. So uh, here's playable games. You can, this is all there is. He made an excellent point by doing that actually. Can I go down here? Should I go down here? All right. Do I go down or do I go across? I can't because it's blocked off. Okay. This is a big glass cylinder around. There's those outlets again. That's significant. It's the puzzle again. Oh, it's that puzzle. With the exact same solution as the last time. You sure? He hasn't led us astray yet, so. There's still no clear indication of what makes this puzzle so special that Coda is going to return to it over and over. But I promise I'll share with you my interpretation very shortly. Okay. Interesting. This is like my uh, parole review board. You there? Did you come from up above? Here, what was up there? Using a kind of dialogue system that he fashioned out of the engine's chat capabilities. Use the one, two, three buttons on your keyboard to respond. In hours and yes, there were these floating colored blocks. Yes. Whoa! That's the world above. You've been there. There. Now, this is important. Did you have to get through a puzzle with two doors and switches? Yes, I did. That was literally the last thing I did before coming. And we just met. Okay. Again, perfect. Now, please tell us how you solved it. Tell us the solution. Tell us how to get to the other side. Do I want to tell them? Trust me, you don't want to go over there. Someone else let me in. I don't remember how to solve it. I'm trying to remember, but I can't. Oh no, but I do. We do. We need to get there. You understand? It is the most important thing in the world. We have to escape this prison. There must be an ending. I promise you, there's nothing I want more. What was that? Oh, hey. Okay. What the? 